Document libraries are a vital part of your SharePoint site because they are the holders for all of the different types of files that you will have available for users as well as holders of things behind the scenes. To create a document library, go to Site Actions and you have New Document Library on the drop down list. So I'm going to click New Document Library. This document library that I'm creating is going to hold the behind the scenes things for the site. So I'm going to call it Site Assets. You do not need to put a description. I'm going to choose for it not to be in the Quick Launch navigation bar because I do want it behind the scenes. And then I merely click Create at the bottom. Once it comes up, you will be able to add documents to the library by just clicking Add Document. Uh, I'm going to show you the option of adding multiple files because that allows you to add files quickly. And it says to drag, so I'm going to pull up the window that I have my files I'm going to put in and select three, literally drag them over, and then click OK. And you can see that it's uploading each one. Once it's finished the process, click Done, and you've got the three documents added all at one time. You can also create folders within a document library that helps to organize things. And you can create as many folders as you like, and you can also put items inside of the folders. So that's how you create a document library. If you wanted to delete the document library, you go to the library tab at the top and there are library settings over on the right side and delete this document library is right here at the top. If you have named it and you decide you want it named something different, you also have title, description, and navigation here. So you could go back in and rename it, and if you decided now that you did want it in the Quick Launch, you would have that option.